Hello, hello, Capricorns. Good morning, everybody. Where's my coffee? <laughs> I missed my coffee. Oh, guys. I'm using this deck today, the Light Sears Tarot, to see if we can get some additional messages. I feel lost without my coffee. I've had my coffees, but it's like, it's got to be near me at all times. It's like... <laughs> Capricorns, yesterday I uploaded a video on my channel. It's a story that I wrote for my granddaughter Freya. It's called Adventures of Freya. If you're interested, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. It's just like a kid's story, guys, but it's more than a kid's story. It's actually for the kid and us all. So it was just a story that I wrote that touched my heart and I felt inclined to share it with you guys. Capricorn messages. So if you are interested, give it a look. Well, Ace of Cups. What a start. I'm inclined to tell you that a lot of you are receiving new love or are going to be or are already in it or just working on self-love. But I know for the collectives that a lot of these uh, divine unions are coming back in. So let's see where it goes. Well, yeah, someone might be traveling. Someone might. <clears throat> the runner who ran. Yep, it's a divine union here. Oh, my God. God, who wants now an opportunity to offer commitment or marriage and love you? <sighs> I don't know, guys. I just said it and it's coming out. Someone who's been watching you may have ran from commitment before but someone wants wants this now i'm just saying ace of pentacles four of wands the lovers and even if it's not the past person if you're like running from if you are the runner and saying hell to the no well somebody is running in I, whoever, if this is a divine union, which I'm thinking it is, the one who ran out is going to be coming running back in. Yep. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Lovers. It can't get more clear. Because you're the Ten of Cups. The one who did the running, the commitment dodger, the commitment phobe, they never lost their flame for you, just saying. They see you as the empress, the one who betrayed you and broke your heart. They want to come and make things right. Just saying, divine timing is here, but it's also they want to make things fair. They want to balance things out. I can hear it, guys. That's not mine. That's not mine. I can't help what comes out. They want to make things fair. They want to balance things out. They want a passionate new beginning with you. And the masks have come off. They've made a decision. They've seen that who they love. I'm just saying it's here. So it's not going to be for every Capricorn, but indeed Spirit wants to reveal these divine unions, I'm just saying. Because I put the intention in these cards to show new love. And for many of you, this is new love coming in. Someone you can grow with loves you a lot. It's your Ten of Cups. But for others of you, it's this divine union wants to resurface the one who ran away wants to return i'm just saying yep they're gonna take action 
the, <laughs> they're heartbroken without you. They broke your heart, and now they're heartbroken. Well, they're feeling guided toward you because they know how loyal you were and you see your self-worth and they've learned a lesson, I'm just saying. They've learned a lesson. They want commitment. They see you as the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. They see how strong and confident you are, guys. That's a divine union coming in. Someone wants a new cycle. It is the emperor. It's a divine union. We got an emperor and empress. If this is not the past person, I'm telling you right now, it's new love and it's a divine union. The emperor, the empress with the ace of cups, the lovers and the ten of cups and the commitment card. Somebody's getting married. Mm-hmm. They're thinking, 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 working hard. Don't want to put in the work, guys. Just saying, no. They love you. They know you're the love of their life. I'm just saying. Now, if you're not entertaining the past person that, uh, hmm. <laughs> It's the three cups that spilt out there are right here. The two of cups. I'm just saying a lot of these divine unions are coming back into order. Someone wants to come and sweep you off your feet. They got the flowers in hand. That's the dating card. If you're not entertaining the past, that's someone new you meet through... Uh, dating and for the past person wanting to come and return back a lot of you are just like holding on to your heart chakra you don't want to be hurt again wow but for some this is a divine union emperor and empress Somebody is missing you. I'm just telling you. They're stressing out about you. They want to come walking right back in. Judgment call. They want reconciliation. I'm telling you. The one you had a tower with. The one that may have put you in a third party. Wants to return. And it will be Capricorn's... Uh, judgment call whether they're going to take this person back or not but i'm telling you if you're not entertaining and you're keeping that person blocked there is new divine love entering the picture whoa yep somebody wants to jump off the love cliff <laughs> they're finding you like irresistible and they are hoping that you don't have competition Mm hmm They sabotage this, literally. They're the ones that sabotaged it. They're the ones that deceived you. And now they're all like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. That's why they're observing you. They're learning about you. They want to invest with you. They want to commit to you. They want a new cycle with you. They want to communicate. Messaging. You're their two of cups. You're their soulmate. And it's probably a past life soulmate. For a lot of you, it is the past person. If you're in a divine union, they want to return. For others of you who are only open to new love, it's coming in, and it's a past life soulmate, literally. 
They want to show you a lot of uh, attention that you deserve. It's like you're in, they think of you as like, the, they think that you get a lot of attention and they're thinking about, is there com competitors? Wow. Yep. They're loyal. They're stable. They're grounded. And I'm telling you, Page of Cups, if this person was really, <laughs> I'm going to say right now, you're thinking, and I'm going to put it out there, you go, when pigs fly, like that's going to happen. Well, in many cases, it's going to happen. And it'll be your choice, your decision. Many of you are choosing to stay single. But this person wants it's equal, give and take, reciprocity. <laughs> They're willing to fight for you, I'm just saying. Because now they're thinking. Many of you are going to reject this offer. You're just like, no hell to the no. I am staying single. I have my ten of cups on my own. Many of you are going toward new love. Someone who's loyal. Someone who gives you the attention that you deserve. You're choosing another lover, your soulmate, a past life soulmate, and you're going, no, 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 but there is reconciliation on the table for some of you who want, you're choosing that. It's like. You might be in limbo, like what to do. You're like, when pigs fly, well, they're going to fly. <laughs> For some of you, just saying. Somebody wants to present an offer to you. They're really worried that you're going to turn them down and reject them. They're afraid. But they're upset. <laughs> it could be Capricorn who's afraid to open up to this person or any love for that matter. And whoever this is, want to take things slow, literally. And if it's the past person who was the commitment dodger, that's why they were dragging their feet. They were commitment dodgers. They ran. And, uh, a lot of Capricorns are going hell to the no when pigs fly. I'm not taking this person back. Well, there's new love for you. It's a true love. For others of you who are in like divine unions that have been waiting for this reconciliation, it's about, it's coming in. And for others who are saying hell to the no, there's new love. So, you know, new deck of cards, same messages. I don't know what uh, else to tell you guys. But whatever it is, whether you're choosing to stay single, reconcile, or seek new love, it's all there. Whatever you're choosing to do. The good thing is, it's all your choice. You get to decide what you're doing with your future. And uh, whatever it is, it's bright. Take care, Capricorn. And I'm going to put that... A video link in the description box below for any of you that are interested watching that uh, story and let me know what you think of it. Take care Capricorn.